Hey guys, so I'm coming to you with a video about another video about, sorry, I'm kind of like, I don't know why I'm hyper. I'm making a video about Marina. I'm currently like going through all these weird body changes and I want to know like if everyone is going through it or am I crazy? Am I just some psychomaniac? The reason why I got put on Marina it's because I would have like excruciating periods and like cramping. And so my doctor ended up diagnosing me with adenomyosis. Adenomyosis. I don't know if I said that right. Adenomyosis. But it's basically a condition in which endometrial tissue exists within and grows into the uterine wall. So it's kind of like endometriosis, but like not. So like the symptoms are having like heavy bleeding, severe menstrual cramps, abdominal pressure, and bloating. They said it's often diagnosed for women who are middle-aged or have children. And I'm 24 and I have no children. So I don't know. I don't know why it happened. The cause of it isn't known, but studies suggest that various hormones may trigger the condition. And they said that the only way to really diagnose it is to perform a hysterectomy <laughs> and examine the uterine tissue. And that's probably not going to happen because I do want children, so nobody ain't got time. I started Marina August 5th um, of this year. So this should be my third month. On the marina and there's like just like a lot of pros and cons to it like okay the reason why I went on marina it's because my doctor felt that was the best possible way to not have excruciating cramps like I do but it's like what I have excruciating what I take that over the cramps that I get if I'm in an AC room like a room with AC if I'm in there more than an hour I will start cramping up and I asked my best friend that I'm like are you going through the same thing? And she's like, oh yeah, like I cramp during when it gets cold. So I'm like, that's a con. So one con over here. A pro is that I don't cramp and I don't really have a long period, but it's like, I don't know. So one and one. You see like nausea too with this whole thing. I don't get nausea that much anymore, but I still get it. I get weird headaches from time to time. They said that's like, Adjustment period should be like three to six months. So now what I'm experiencing is a rapid heartbeat Like my heartbeat will go like this and it's been going like this and I've been doing like shortness of breath Like grasping for air sometimes and then with this whole beating heart thing So my mom said she researched it and she saw like a lot of people are having that So I kind of emailed my doctor and I'm like, hey, is this like a side effect or should I be worried or is it something else? And this girl said that she was like on a heart monitor. Um, she got put on a heart monitor, but like when she stopped taking the marina, like it all stopped. So I don't know if it has to do with the marina or another health problem. I don't know. I kind of want to like track this journey that I have with this marina, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it because majority of the people on the forums are saying that they had to get it taken out because that was the only thing they could do to get like normal again. And I really didn't want to because didn't want to go back to my old life but it's like if there's more cons than pro then I'm not about to just keep it in. Another annoying thing about the marina is that I am always bloated okay. <laughs> I'm always bloated and I feel like I am four months pregnant like no lie. The crazy thing about it is that like people will say oh you know I gained so much weight on marina and da 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 so I will have a bloated stomach and then go check the scale and it'll say that I lost weight. So how are you going to trick me? Because I know what I look like at a certain weight. So then when I hop on the scale and they're saying that I'm below that, it just doesn't make sense to me. So I'm like bloated, but I'm losing weight. And I tell my doctor and they're like, oh, it's just like with the whole fluctuating thing and you have to let your body adjust. And da -da -da. Like that's the only answer they have to get you. So I will give updates on how I feel about the marina. And please let me know if there is a positive. Do people have like a good story behind it? Like I haven't really seen like a good story behind the marina. Like, oh, marina is doing so great. Like, I don't know. So I do want to keep tracking it. This is my third month. I think I'm probably going to do like three months, six months, a year, and then, you know, just kind of see. I don't really want to be on the marina for five years because I do want children, but I don't know when I have my man first and then I'm going on a rant. <laughs> but yeah, I will keep posting updates. And, you know, I don't know if anyone's even interested in this. Maybe it's a boring topic and people are like, I'm not going through it, so I really don't care. Um, I don't know. So yeah, and then stay tuned for more videos. Okay. See you guys later.